Hey guys, Jake here, coming at you with another math lesson today. Here's the problem we're going to be going over today. Uh, we're just going to express the limit as a definite integral on the given interval. So basically, this is the limit that we have, and this is the given interval that we have from 2 to 6. So essentially, what we need to do here is rewrite this limit as an integral. Now what we're going to do is use the definition of an integral based on the limit definition. So if you haven't already checked out my Calculus 2 study guide, this formula is actually on there, so I'm going to show you how to use that. There's a link in the description too if you want to check out that study guide. So basically for this problem, we're just going to use the formula on, from, from my study guide, which is the definition of a definite integral. So I'll start with writing that formula down here real quick. So basically what we're trying to do here in this problem is use this formula, which is the definition of an integral, and compare this limit formula here with the limit that we were given. So you can kind of see, you know, in both of these cases, we have the limit as n goes to infinity, and then we have this sum from i equals 1 to n, so that's going to be consistent in both pieces. And then in this formula, we have this f of x i star times delta x. So, you know, you kind of want to think of this, uh, this sum and this limit as the, the product of these two pieces here, our f of xi and our delta x. So we can kind of see, looking here, obviously we have the limit that lines up, we have the sum that lines up. What we want to do is compare this, all this stuff within this sum and this limit, compare it to this and kind of match those up. So we can see we have this delta x here. So that is good. So that must mean that basically the rest of this stuff here, all this, kind of corresponds with this f of xi star. So basically this f of xi star is just saying whatever the function is that we're trying to find the integral of, if we kind of convert this into the integral form, the xi is essentially just going to become x. So we're just going to go from f of xi to f of x. So this delta x is going to correspond with the dx. So, you know, we know that we're going to have an integral from a to b, which we'll figure out what a and b are in a second. But we're going to have the integral from a to b of some function times a dx at the end. So we know that our dx is just going to come from this delta x. So what we, we want to do is look at this, the rest of this, and essentially our xi's are just going to transition to be x's. So this function is just going to become x times ln of 1 plus x squared. And then our dx comes from that delta x. So then the other piece that we want to figure out is what the bounds of our integral are. So the bounds of your integral are just going to be all the x values that you're actually looking at. And since it told us that this limit and this sum is defined on the interval from x equals 2 to x equals 6, that tells us that the bounds of our integral are going to be 2 and 6. So basically, by using the limit definition of an integral, this integral right here is equivalent to this limit that we started with up here. So that's how we can express that limit as a definite integral over this given interval from 2 to 6. So like I said, if you haven't already grabbed my Calculus 2 study guide, there's a link in the description so you can go check that out. It's a great tool to help you get through an integral calculus class, get through your homework, and study for tests easier. So go check that out. Thank you, and see you next time.